okay until now we have developed the node.js backend so now we are going to develop the react.js frontend uh, so to do that i'm going to open my command prompt and make directory called my frontend and i'm going to inside it and uh, i'm going to create react create react app my app uh, it will take some time okay our boilerplate is ready to go now uh, I'm going to open the Visual Studio code. And I'm get the terminal here. CD to my app. Then I'm going to try this out okay our boilerplate is up and running now okay I told you that our react app has a login form and uh, login form and the blog post form input text area Let's try to implement the login form. Uh, I'm not going to use so many components or routes in the React application. I just want to give you the knowledge that how to handle the JWT tokens in the front end applications. So I'm not going to uh, use uh, many components or uh, many uh, fancy CSS stuff. Uh, I'm not going to use here. Okay. First of all, I will make this component as a class component, not a function. Uh, so, import react and component. Component from react. Uh, then, class app extends component. Okay, I should have implemented uh, the render method here. Render method return should return this. Let's see if this is working. Yes, it's working. So I can remove this part. And uh, now I'm going to implement the login area. Input. Input. Input and um, Type gonna be an on change will event before that I want to uh, implement this state here so first I should implement the constructor constructor um, all super then this dot state equals email null and password so also null at the first then uh, in this event 
this dot set state email event dot target dot value and I put line breaks here then I'm going to copy this and paste here it's also a type password type password then I'm going to change here this set state this is as password password even target value is dot don't change and I'm going to put a button here in this button here is on click on click method and this dot login uh, I will implement the login function also this is our login area we should have a login before I run the application I am going to copy this uh, auto complete this part because this is not a necessary thing uh, but if I don't use it uh, it will auto complete my form so I will use it so now you can see uh, um, in here we can you, uh, give our username or email and here we can give the password then we are going to implement the logging function here I'm going to implement the login function login so uh, what this login function going to do this login function does that it send a HTTP POST request to our server with this email and password. For sending HTTP request, uh, I'm going to use the library called Axios. So uh, I should have installed that library. So I have to in install uh, Axios library. NPMI Axios. It is installed uh, so I'm going to use it uh, here import axios from axios so I'm going to implement this login function uh, axios now I can access the axios axios dot post uh, the URL URL is uh, this our port is 8080 now application 8080 and <clears throat> then I'm going to uh, give the email uh, so email is uh, this dot state dot email and password also password is this dot state dot password uh, so after that I'm going to handle this response then response uh, sorry response response then response uh, I'm going to console dot log this uh, response here. Uh, 8080 and uh, uh, now we are going to try this application. Uh, but uh, before that, uh, I have to do something in my backend. Uh, in our backend, we have to use uh, this course. Uh, so how to use it? Uh, we have to use course like this app dot use uh, course 
circles like this okay mm. then run another server and here is our front end application and save it then we are going to try it. okay uh, I'm going to give my email and the password uh, one so one two three four five six then here we go here we get the response and the response has the token right 